Hey guys, Aaron here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install this Whirlpool gas stove. All right, so before we get started here, let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna need. Um, one first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need a gas connector kit here. And usually that's it. You can pick that up at any of your local hardware stores. Um, I'll also link to all this stuff in the description. Um, some kind of a pipe thread compound for gas lines. They also have uh, Teflon tape um, that's specifically for gas lines. You can use that if you want. Um, I prefer the compound here. Um, if you, and you're going to need a couple of wrenches. Now, I've only got one of these uh, readily available right now. Um, my other is a different job. So I've got one of these. I've also got um, a set of vice grips and some channel locks. Um, that will work as well. Um, I've also got some all-purpose gas leak detector. Um, this is spray on stuff. I've seen a lot of people use the uh, soap and water mixture. I prefer to use something that's really designed for this um, and for gas leak detection. And then I also have a, um, a gas detector here, a leak detector. So th those are some things you definitely are gonna need to have before you can even get started. All right, so first let's get the old one out. reach underneath there and pull it straight out. Get that out. So we'll go ahead and shut off our gas line here. And unplug yourself. Now, because I don't have a lot of room to work here, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the stove from the gas line um, at, this, at the stove end versus at the line end. Um, just because I don't have a lot of room, but you could definitely do it the other way if you have more room. So. Now, if you do disconnect here, there might be a little gas in the line. So if you smell a little gas, that's fine, um, but it should dissipate. If, if, you, if you keep smelling it, you might have a leak. Um, so you probably wanna put that back on. Now I can go ahead and get the old stove out of here. Now, I, these are supposedly one-time use. Um, so it's a better option to go ahead and replace this as well. All right, so next we're just gonna go ahead and get the new oven set up. Um, so here's our adapter that comes with our gas line kit here. You can test that out, put it in, just make sure it fits. Now, make sure it's clean, nothing on it. Then we're gonna take our pipe thread compound here and we're going to apply that to um, the end here that's going to go into the oven. This is more of a tapered end here. This has got a very special compression fitting style on it. Um, and we're not going to put compound on this, but we are going to put some compound on this. And it's thick. And we want to get this all in there. So we want that on all sides here. We don't want it dripping. Uh, but we want it on there reasonably thick to cover all the threads. You don't need a lot. But like I said, we want to cover all the threads here. Well, we'll just thread it in here. Kind of tight. And we're just going to keep tightening that thing down until it's nice and snug. Just get it nice and snug here. And then we can go ahead and clean it up. Again, we're not trying to get anything on these threads here. Those need to be clear. Now there is another connection if you do need to replace that. Um, at this time, I don't need to replace that. 
Start off and just get that hand tight. And again, get that tight. Now we'll just bring our new oven into place here. Uh, I'm not putting it in, but I want to have it so that I can at least test it out um, and get everything connected. Here. Again, nothing on these threads. Tighten that down. All right, so now we're just going to take our gas leak detector here and spray down our piece here. All of our connections. Now we can go ahead and flip our gas back on. I'm looking for leaks here. Now, other than the leak detector, I'm also looking for any bubbles in the solution that I sprayed. Um, and that's a good indicator that there is a leak. If you start seeing that, you'll probably also start smelling some gas too if there's a leak. I think we're good. Now I'll just go ahead and push our oven back in here, making sure that we don't pinch that yellow gas line in the back. Now let's just get it put together here. Now, I also recommend doing a burn-in uh, before actually using your oven, and that just gets rid of any chemical residue on the inside. And for that, we're just going to hit bake, turn it up to around, I usually do about 420, 425, anywhere between 400 and 500 degrees, and then just let it go for about a half hour. Um, and like I said, that will get rid of any chemical residue um, from it being a new oven. All right, guys, there you go. That's how you install a gas oven um, the safe way. 
If you're not comfortable around gas, it's probably just easier to have somebody else install it for you. Um, it's not super difficult. It can be done DIY, um, but like I said, uh, if you're not comfortable around gas, easier to have somebody else do it for you.